Hello, hello everybody. So today we're actually gonna be doing some tracking. I'm gonna show you how I kind of do tracking. This is only a quick setup. This is not what I do for my race car and stuff like that. The drift car up the top. This is just the daily. This is a compact that I built. So there's a whole series on it that I'll link up up, up here for you. Uh, but yeah, it needs tracking. The steering wheel's off and it just doesn't feel right, the lock kit and stuff. Uh, so I'm gonna show you how string alignment works. Um, this kind of string alignment, a lot of people just say, you know, uh, laser alignment's the best, blah, blah, blah. But actually, string alignment is used by pretty much most race teams and everything like that. They'll do it every time they come off the track, they will set this up. And this is pretty much millimeter perfect as well. The benefits I find to this is laser can go off, you can drop the tool or whatever like that and it'll go off, you don't actually know. You know, this is pretty much simple setup, you just need to get all your measurements right, make sure that's all good, and you will be millimetre perfect. Um, so yeah, I'll show you this. I haven't got the skid plates underneath and stuff, uh, I will go through that in another video when I'm doing a race car, when I'm doing it properly. This is just a brief overview of what string alignment is and how it's done. So yeah, let's uh, show you that. Okay, so we have got, I think this is a BG uh, string kit. It's about 300 pounds online. I'll link it in the description, but I've used it maybe seven or eight times now and, you know, can't fault it at all. Now it is quite simple. You've just got all these poles to attach on. So you're going to try and get, you, it doesn't really matter about this pole being in the middle because it's all about these notches. So these notches, wherever you put this string that goes down the side of the car, it needs to be the same front to rear. So if I have it on this notch, I have to have it on that notch over there and the same with over here. So just now I'm on the third notch to get it quite close to the wheel so I can measure. You can have it all the way out here, but you know, it's just easier when it's closer to the wheel. Um, so yeah, that's the first thing to do. Once you get that, you have to grab your ruler and you're going to measure from the center of the wheel out and you'll get your measurement. You really want the string to be in the middle of the wheel. So when you actually measure it, you can look down and you can see it. So once you've got that, you're pretty much just if you're say you're 10 here and you're nine over there, all you need to do is move this bar. I'm not going to move it because I've got it set, but yeah, it's just, it, nothing's holding it on. You just kind of move it back and forward. You just keep measuring until either side is the same. Same with the rear until it's the same. So I'll show you what I've got here. So the front is from the middle of the wheel out. I've just done it. I should do it this way, but anyway, I've got eight and eight at the front. And then at the back, I've got 10 and 10. So 10 is, as in 10 there in the front, I've got eight on both sides. So that's all good. It doesn't matter that there's a difference front to rear as long as you're the same this way, same this way, and your notches are right on all four corners. They're the same, so third notch in. Once you've done that, you're going to measure from the wheels. So now you can check your toe. So you put your thing under there, and then you check your toe. And then it's the same here as well. Check your toe. So when you've done all your toe here, so uh, 2.6, 2.6, so that means that one is parallel, uh, straight. This one was 21 and three. So this is the driver here. We're uh, right-hand drive. And then this is the back, what we've got on the back, the toe. So it's roughly gonna look like this. So we're towing out one mil on both sides on the back and the front left is straight and the front right is towing in nine mil. So that is where my problem is. My steering wheel's off to one side, so it's probably this. Uh, and then you just adjust this one to equal it out uh, on the strings. So you would come back to here and do your measurements, adjust your wheel until both sides are the same. It'll probably be around the 2.6, 2.5 or something like that. And then you would have it evened out um, and then it'll be even again. So yeah, that is how to do string alignment on toe in and toe out. So that's kind of how, that's just a quick overview on how to do string alignment, the toe in and toe out. Um, before you do any of this, you normally have to do your ride height, tire pressure, stuff like that. And then you'll put it on uh, these caster plates, um, like up here, you put them onto there, your, your wheels, so they're nice and floating. Um, or proper race car people, they take the wheels off and they've got like stand things. 
that I'm currently looking to get designed just now for BMWs. So it'll be quite good. Um, so yeah, you normally do camber and your ride height first before you do this and your tire pressures. Once you've done that, you do your toe. And then with the string line, you can also test caster as well. So that'll be in another video. So yeah, we will do another video, a full uh, how to do your wheel alignment. Basically everything you need to know, we'll do it on the beast up there. Um, but this is just a quick overview, show people what string alignment is and how you kind of go about setting it. Cause a lot of people, you know, try and do it themselves at home with axle stands and stuff like that and put a bar across, but you need front and rear bar to be exactly the same length. And then you obviously need the notches to be exactly the same either side and front to rear. So it is quite hard to make this kit yourself to be millimeter perfect. You need, you, you really need this stuff to be millimeter perfect if you want everything else to be millimeter perfect. So that's why I bought this kit instead of doing the axle stands with just a, a, a bar and stuff, but you could do it. I've seen a guy in Australia, uh, he ended up making his tire rack on his trailer, the long bars that go along, that was actually uh, the bars along here. So that was quite interesting because then, you know, you, you take it away on uh, trips with you. So, but you need to make sure that it is all, you know, the right length. Um, and then, you know, you can just use uh, fishing wire or whatever you want for that. Just have a colored fishing wire. So there, you, you can do it, but you need to, it needs to be millimeter perfect. So yeah, that's how you do string alignment. Just a quick overview. And uh, I'll link up here once I do the kind of in-depth one on the drift car. So yeah, see you later. Bye.